Got the superstar with me today. <laughs> Y'all hear that? There's some superstars going down today. I have Danielle Shaw. S H A U L. Oh, sh it's going down, y'all. Not found on Instagram, Snapchat, none you, of the you're above. Gonna, <laughs> you're gonna get an Instagram and a Snapchat like really soon. Holla at Tia. T is we'll on talk, Instagram. We'll, we'll talk about the particulars, yeah. and then we're going to get you set up. Miss Bounce Back. Oh, that's her name. Hi, name. Miss Bounce Back. Yes. I don't even want to ask. Just, you <laughs> There's a lot of ways we could go with Wait till back. she's here for that. Oh, gosh. Miss Bounce Back. I wish we could have her call that in. That like a, a stripper name that dances like Onyx. She can do it. Miss Bounce Back. You know what? I want to go. Shout it. Uh, what's the night where they have Take What You Make? Okay, um, <laughs> I think that Sunday's the Uptown, but I don't know nothing about Uptown. No, it's Onyx. Okay. So, um, I got a superstar with me today. We have a great topic Ooh. we're going to discuss. It's going to be a fantastic episode. I'm back. The topic is on why do people, human beings, stay in toxic, bad relationships they keep them or make them unhappy and depressed. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. So before I get started, Danielle, she's gonna introduce herself. She's gonna tell you where to find her. She's gonna tell you what organization she's about to start working Are with. Are we allowed to say it now? <laughs> <laughs> because that we won't. This is my show, my life. Okay. Go ahead. The floor is yours. Danielle Shaw, S H A U L. The only place you can find me is Facebook, soon to be Instagram, maybe. <laughs> no Snapchat, no nothing. I'm pretty behind. But, um, and I'm also working with a very special individual <gasps> oh. on, are we allowed to say the name? Yeah. Stay Motivated. Uh, yeah. Incorporated. Incorporated. Yeah. I'm excited. We own. It we're is going exciting. To top. People have no idea what we're talking about, but they will. That's good because we're gonna take over the world and help all the people. Superheroes, mm -hmm. the Incredibles. Not the Incredibles. Well, Black Panther crew. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Am I allowed in? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta talk to the people Can in, I be in a Wakanda. Part of Wakanda. Of <laughs> yeah, we gotta talk to the people in Wakanda see how they feel about it. Then. We'll get back with you shortly. We'll give you 30 days. 30 I'll day submit notice. my application. Cool. Okay. So uh, we're going to start with you. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to start with me. We're okay. going to start with you. You're the guest. Bring it on, Tim. So why do you think women, why do you think women stay in toxic, bad relationships? Like, I'm not talking about for five, six months, seven, eight. I'm talking years. about years. Well, even five, six months is too much. And we all uh, do it. You don't really know nobody after five or six months. You're getting to know them, but then after that, like... I'm going to tell you. When you get to the seven-month period... No, about kinda... six six months is where you should know if this is going to be forever or just forget it. Forever? After six, six months? months? Really? It's, well, especially at our age. Well, I'm 26, so I don't know. Lies. Yeah, I don't know about it. Lies. But go ahead. No, really, but the six month mark is where you should know if it's going to be forever or not. I forgot what you're saying. Really? That's six what months? A professional has said, yes, yeah, six months. What professional? It, Dr. Phil. He Pat, doesn't count. Patty Stanger. <laughs> I don't the know. Man, the matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> She's a millionaire matchmaker. Well. No, but realistically speaking, because everybody says like your two years is your honeymoon phase. So, so after after being with somebody for two years, mm -hmm. that's when it hits the fan. After so if, two, you can, if you can if you can survive it to two years, then that's when the make or break is. Because two years is when, like, chemically and biologically, those pheromones are like 
off the charts and all you want, you should, all you want is that person to be around that person. But they do say in older age as are, we're, we're not spring chickens anymore. Oh, I'm a spring chicken. But I'm saying hey, six <laughs> months is, you, is ain't you should high. know in six months. Well, but what happens? Oh no, man! It, it it depends on and the, here the problem lies, ladies. No, it depends on <laughs> it depends on how the relationship go. Like if the first that's what this no, it depends yeah. on like if the first two three months like y'all it should really be like, peaches and cream. No, y'all really like each other, but say the guys working third shift so y'all don't see each other as much but y'all like each other it's gonna take longer than six months to get to that point you see what i'm saying the point is whether you work third shift whether you're overseas whatever it is you're gonna make time for somebody that you want around overseas i've been through it well i don't know about overseas Overseas. well as long as you got a passport anything can happen right well i'm just saying (laughs) I don't know. Six months is a little quick. That's the problem. I, th- the problem. There we go. Six because you six you you long. want somebody to gamble for how long? How long would you say? It's not gamble. It's it's the time and with experience. these eggs at thirty six. That's a gamble. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like you don't it's know a gamble be, you don't for know me. Situations. You know how fast this year is. All right. Went by? Well, let's say how Hold on, long. Let me, let me ask you a question. Okay. Do you think this year has went by fast? It's this freaking, year? Yes. Yeah, it's it's mid June. Thank God, because like, I work Christmas in the was school just, system. Christmas was just here. No, baby, it did not go by that fast for Man, me. It went, well, if you're black, it went by fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The, the year went by kind of fast, so I don't know. Six months is just too fast. All right. Well, what would you say is an appropriate amount of time before you know, like? You, this is the person that you see yourself like. I'm gonna give it. I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it my my all. We're gonna see. A year. A year. Twelve. No, really. You think it takes a year? It takes thirteen months. You think it takes a year for that representative to wear off before you see that person? I'm gonna tell you why. This is the perfect situation. Okay. But that's why they call me Young Denzel because I'm great. Oh my <laughs> god! I wish this was so, recorded so, video live after so a, you can see the after a year. Shit! So think coming about through it. this microphone. So say you meet somebody. Say in 2017 you met somebody a week or two before Christmas in 2017, right? Christmas is a hard time to meet just, someone. Just that's a, a lot of pressure. Just, say say you had a Christmas party. You meet somebody, right? Okay. All right. You meet them before Christmas mm-hmm. and then New Year's you might you may not even hang out you may just ah, you that's m- a problem right there if I met you at Christmas met. and we don't hang out I at didn't New say, Year's we got a problem I said met I ain't say commit okay. I said meet but have we been to like dinner and stuff nah maybe have I been to your house maybe one dinner maybe you went out but to you're not even thinking about me at New Year's let me finish <laughs> anyway so you got New Year's right then you got Valentine's Day, right? Mm-hmm. Then you got, with you, you work for the school system, you got spring break. Mm-hmm. Then you got Mother's Day. Then you got Memorial Day. Then you got Father's Day. You got birthdays in between. Fourth of July. Then you, July. Got, then you got, then you got, what's after that? Is it Veterans Day? No, not Veterans Day. Um, Memor- no, Memorial's in May. Labor, Labor Day. Day. Then you got Labor Day. Halloween, Thanksgiving. But see, Christ- I'm going to stop. Wait, 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 wait. Let me I'm finish. Stop let me, you, right you, here. You, you asked me, can I finish? No, because this is the problem. You're not letting me finish. You're listing excuses. No, I'm not. You're not letting okay. me finish. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> uh, that's one. Um, well, <laughs> so think about all that stuff that goes on. That's, that's like holidays, events. We're not talking about everything in between. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't know how somebody is or how you feel about somebody until holidays come up. You get them around your family. Mm-hmm. Special situations. Valentine's, Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays, 4th of July. All that, you don't really know somebody until you go through all that. Right. You just don't. Like some females, some guys, see how I include the guys too, mm. they act funny around family members. 
Right. They don't live up to the expectations on holidays, mm -hmm. birthdays, family members' birthdays, trips out of town. So you don't really know nobody until... You would invite this person or you would say, you have to understand these are like family events. I'm not ready for you to come No, along. you got to invite them. Okay. But... How they act around family, you don't know. So you can't say after six months. So you right. meet somebody in January, and then in June, you're like, oh, my God, I love this person. We've got to be together forever. And then Thanksgiving, you sit at the table with your family, and they cut a damn food. Or Christmas come, right. and you get a a dollar seventy five cent sweater from it's one of the... Up, uh, see, now, see... So, oh, effort counts. One of your love languages. No, yes, no, no. Here we no, go. This is what no. we talked about earlier. It's not because about money. You can give me a dollar seventy-five sweater, and I might think, oh, thank you. You better come with something else. Oh, effort counts. Right, That's so that. You're saying a dollar seventy-five sweater is not effort. I don't know where you find a dollar seventy-five sweater, well, but I can get you a sweater yeah, you for a dollar. Sometimes five, you can go to Goodwill and find some cashmere for a dollar seventy-five. Mm. But I can get you some stuff for free. Stay motivated, Incorporation. Stay motivated. <laughs> I'm just oh, that's another story for another day. But all right, so you're counts. basically you're saying six months is that ain't time for out of nothing. The question. You don't know nobody. You don't know nobody until like situations happen, like holidays. Like what's a situation? A holiday. What do you mean about holidays? You don't see. Sometimes you don't see your cousin that lives out in. In Pensacola, Florida. Mm -hmm. You don't see them often. You don't mm -hmm. see your cousins that live in South Carolina. Yeah, but what about everyday stuff? You get you get uh, immune to everyday stuff. It's about when the circumstances are different. That's right. when you so get to know So maybe somebody. you're saying women are better at presenting their representatives longer than men are. Mm, I don't know. Because everybody comes with a rep. Some women get kind of, uh, they get kind of antsy when they get around other people. They get kind of different. What do you mean? Explique, por favor. So say you have a family gathering. Okay. A Christmas party, whatever thing. Some females get, they get kind of quiet. They get kind Right. Of, yeah, they get kind of. Okay, uh, so in this situation, if you're with a female well, and you notice that she's quiet around your family, what would you do? You would you leave her in the corner to fend for herself no. to see what she does? No, 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 no. no. Get, you or would you tap on the take seat. her by the hand? Nope, and not, help not her be by the hand. Not literally, Terry. I mean, you tap know. on the bay. Hold on, they didn't hear that. <laughs> 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 tap on the bay. Let's uh, come here one second. Let's go get a drink. You got to open up. But see. As a as myself, not speaking for any other female, if I I can be social, but I can also be a little reclusive. Where you from again? Charlotte. Where, where, where? What's your favorite football team? The Giants. So you got that New Yorkish. I do, but people are surprised. Where, where does your sister live? New York City. Okay, 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 okay. But don't we from the south. Where it's hospitality is way key. different. You can't come to my life quiet, looking fancy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A little standoff. No, 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 no. no my, my cousins gonna pull up on. They gonna pull up on you real right. quick. Nish, Mitra, Monica, Jelena, Christy, like, April. Oh, I'm naming <laughs> them. I'm naming them. Then my sisters put Toya, Jasmine. Right, Keisha. but we're, we're comparing we oranges up. to apples because if your family is like you, and I'm not just, you know, stroking your ego, but <laughs> well, if your family <laughs> if is like are. you, you guys are very welcoming because you're a welcoming person. Hi, I'm a you very, are. I'm a very you nice don't make person. people feel put off or anything like that. Absolutely not. So, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. But I'm saying, if you saw your girl in the corner, kind of a little unsure, because it's a little overwhelming, everybody knows everybody, would you leave her there to fend for herself so you can observe what she's going to do? No, or no, would no, you no. help? I would help. Integrate her into I, the because, moment. The no, first, there's going to be an argument if I leave her in the corner. You left me in the corner all Well, because that's night. the type of woman you've been dealing with. Nah, 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 nah. I nah, would, nah first nah. of all, I would never do that. 
Mm-hmm. That's, that's a little uncomfortable. I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. Right. And then second, knowing my family, that wouldn't happen. Right. My cousin, Tori, Tony, KG, uh, my mama, my daddy, my aunt, Miranda, whoever, aunt, Uncle K. Somebody is going to... Somebody going to talk to Reach you. Reach out and try to make, make it. That's just... All right, so taking it back to where... So six months, period, is nah, not enough for you. Months, a man. year. You got to do a year. Mm-hmm. A lot of things happen in a year. Not to be sad or anything. People pass away. People mm-hmm. get sick. You know what I mean? Some people don't think you're giving enough comfort towards the situation. Right. You never know. It takes you a good year. So just to start the year. So that... Um, to that point. Okay. Well, I've, I, that's not too much longer than six months. But I'm just saying, oh, this age, I will say six months. And then I'm about to flash the, the man card. Okay, go ahead. You got to we'll understand certain You got to understand certain things that men like. And what's that? With me, every female that's dealt with me, every female that knows me, every female that loves me or uh. loves me. <laughs> Football season, Sundays, you know what time it is. Understandably so. You got to put on your little Ravens jersey. Oh, my God. And I got to do my dance every week. Sunglasses, beads. Oh, you know me really well. Well, but that. Some females ain't. Aren't okay. Look, I got homeboys. But are you okay with. What if your female wants to come? They come every now and then, but you, you can't. Every now and then. Yeah, you can't hang. Like, yeah. It's the same thing. I'm not going to hang out with you and your homegirls when y'all want to go wine tasting. Who said I want to go wine tasting? Somebody want to go wine tasting. Somewhere. Go. So you like to have your men space. Got to. Got football season is. And I ain't got no problem bringing my, bringing my girl or my friend or whoever right. to the bar here and there. But you have your. Game. Single man routine got to, that man. you don't want to break. Got to. Same thing with women. You got to have girl time. You can't have me wait around your friends all the time. When y'all going to have time to talk about you? When y'all going to have time to talk about me, how great I am? I don't know. I'm a different breed, though. I don't get to, If I like you, if I want to be around you, I don't get tired of you. I don't get... And I'm going to say, a lot of women don't say this. But that's how we're different. When we're into you and we love you and we want to be around you, we want to be around you. Like it. Everywhere. It doesn't matter. And I think men and women differ in that way. So you do have to understand as a woman, like men don't think like that and women do. And again, I'm not speaking for all women. <laughs> but Are you sure? From my own perspective, like if this is somebody that I see something with, you're going to be my best friend. BFF. So we got to like, obviously I want to be around you all the time. I think women, and that's where that argument comes from. I think women sometimes are more okay with being around each other all the time. Men get this little like, I don't know, I think, um, and you got to keep that anticipation. Oh, he's been gone all day. I can't wait to see him. If you always around the dude, like. I don't know. I have hope and I have faith, like. That if that's my life partner, that's what we're doing life together. It don't matter about everybody else. Our relationship is not a communal effort. That's n- that's not the point. It is. It's just you got. You can have your man time. Got to. You got to have your woman. But it needs to I be. I think like, I think women had they want they had a time on the phone. It's easy for y'all to sit at home. We text and talk cook. more. Yeah. You can cook while I'm at work or while I'm cutting the grass. And see, some women aren't going to like that you said that. Well, they can cut the grass. You could. Yeah. You could be in the kitchen. But I'm, I'm a saying, different why type cook, of breed. Why you, uh, why you sitting on the couch with your legs in, in Indian style, drinking wine, watching stars? Whatever uh, it is. Whatever reality yeah, show it is lifetime, that tickles our fancy the at lifetime that time. lifetime application. It's different. Or, you know. I just think. Um, murder shows. And then with me. You know, with sports, I get like. I'm lit. You're, you're a sports so guy. Yeah. I, I've heard before, well, I came to the bar with you and you didn't show me any attention. I don't believe that with you. I promise. Well, then you wasn't feeling her. Nah, it's not that. When the Ravens How play, when the Ra- I watch, I, every, I every play, I make a understand. comment. I make a comment every play, whether the quarterback throw the ball out of bounds, whether we score a touchdown, if we lose, if the referees call a timeout. I talk every play. If it's first down, 
yeah. we get three yards. God damn, man, get the goddamn ball, man. Shit. To edit that out. If it's uh, if it's third and one, we get the first down. First down. We got the first down. We're gonna whoop y'all today. I and then after a while, it gets kind of. You gotta remember football in three hours. I know, but let's stop right there. I think what you forget, and I'm not trying to like toot your horn or stroke your ego again. <laughs> stroke it. <laughs> stroke it. Stroke it. But don't take that the wrong way, people. <laughs> that's that song. White people know that song. Oh, stroke it. Stroke. Stroke. But shoot, you're shoot, shoot. I would say, in knowing you, that you're not a typical man of this era. I'm a grown man of this era. I think you still have old school values. Yeah, that's why they call me Young Denzel. Yeah. It's a reason. You do. Honestly, I'm going to say. Yeah, I, I have to go. You do. So agree. it's hard to like, your perspective is different than like the average man. Yeah, I have to I have to agree. Good for you. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. I I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I, I know you are. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Except that one time. A young fly. Remember that one time where I was. Well, um. <laughs> According to the police. <laughs> <laughs> well. Fast forward over that story. Yeah. That's a, a story for a whole nother day. That's no, here. but I, I think you have a different set of values well, than you gotta, what you see you gotta predominantly bring, today. You got to bring your girl around for games, for sports, mm-hmm. if you're a guy. You can't, like, every Sunday, you can't, like, stay at home. You got to bring them sometime. Yeah, but you know. But you're saying you're a guy that someone that you're with has to understand, understand. and accept that this is what you're going to do. We 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 established that from the beginning. Okay, so like you're, if we meet if we meet in say we meet in, at the end of February mm-hmm. after the Super Bowl is over, you're, golden. Well, no, then basketball yeah, season. That's basketball season. No, too. it's not even that. Basketball basketball come on every night. I watch this shit at home. Okay, but, you say that until the playoffs. Is that yeah, what they're well, called in right. basketball? Play, yeah, playoffs. Uh, Are they called playoffs? I watch the game every night. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. But yeah. um, but see, a smart woman, if you sit at home and watch, what's wrong with that? That's like guys that play video games. What's the problem? I got to get back into playing video you games. You know where they're at. I ain't play video games. Upstairs, no playing video games. I ain't play video games in a minute. I don't know why women get mad about that. Oh, I ain't played in a while, so I ain't really had no woman to get mad some do. Really? Yeah. Shit. But in my mind, you right there. Shit. Play away. Well, that's a whole different story. So I don't think, I don't know. You don't seem like the type that would create a toxic environment. Absolutely not. Yeah. I I get a lot of flack. So this for, is all on me. Yeah. My experience. It's all on, <laughs> it's all on the woman. Um, I get a lot of flack because I'm told I'm too nonchalant. I you just don't do. have the energy or yeah. the time for the negative. I just don't. No, but that's not a bad thing because a lot of guys will say, I'm not about the drama. I'm not about the negativity. But you the one setting the fire and walking away Man, and going, why are you hot? Let me tell you. You I, set the fire. I can't do I can't do it. But I don't see you that way. You seem like the type, like, you didn't set the fire. I, we didn't start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I just can't. But like, there are a lot of guys, especially today, and here is the problem. Our gender roles have been so misconstrued, and I don't want to call any men this word. Call them. But a if lot of men. Man, if you're a grown man, you can deal with it. Got some bitch-ass tendencies. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Let me fix it. No, it's too late. You said it. Uh, yeah, well, we can say tendencies. They, they, I'm gonna say it because men, the first thing that I don't do drama, I don't do negativity, I don't do, but you gotta live it. You're the one starting it. Let me tell you something. I've told a couple people I don't do it. I promise you. But there's a you. difference between saying I don't do it and really removing yourself Man, and not engaging, and then saying I don't do it, but. The only time you get any response, let me give you an example. Oh, okay. We're not going to get too specific. Yeah, let's not get too specific. But if you tell me I don't do drama, I don't do this, I don't do that, and I reach out to you in a kind way, in a peaceful way, and you don't respond, 
and then I talk shit, mm. and you respond. You do drama. Right. Because when I'm nice, you ain't got shit to say. But That's when true. I push a button, I've heard, and I've you heard respond, that before. Bitch ass tendencies. I've heard, and I've, I've heard females say before, like, I'm trying to be cordial, but he mm-hmm. gonna make me flip. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be cordial. Because they love it. I'm trying. It make it validates them in it, some it way. It gives them attention. That's what mm-hmm. it does. I can't do it. Which like, is you can good. you can ask any female up there, I'll just you won, you got the trophy, you won the championship, mm-hmm. you got the argument certificate, whatever you mm-hmm. want. I can't do it. But into this toxic relationship stuff, I think that's where it plays into because the role of the man and the role of the woman have become so muddled well, and mixed women, together. Like the women is, a man are, is not being a man. If you only respond to me in a negative tone or when I'm negative to you and then you put it on me, what does that say? Hmm. You as you all the names you want to call me, you're equivalent. Well, that's one, fellas. That's one thing y'all better stop. It's the name called. If you want to be a man, be a man. You know, because a man you might not believe would this. Stop it, and a man would fix it. You might not believe this. I, I've told every female I've ever known this. If the conversation came up, I've never called a a woman the b word. Even when they deserve it. I've never called a woman. Oh, to their face. To their face. Yeah. I promise you. I remember younger when I used to rap and stuff. I was in a group. And we were saying, bees this, hoes this, all that stuff. And my dad, he listened to my CD. And he he told me, he said, man, y'all got some good music. He said, but man, try not to use that word in your music. Because you don't even have to to get your point across. Yeah, he said, try not to use that word in your music because you got a mom and two sisters. So... But even even again, before that, I never said I I never told a girl. It comes you back to your family values and True, yeah. what you've been taught. And and you. Now I'm not in. talking bad about nobody that's ever said. I know it's been millions I, of men. It's artistic expression. Yeah, I know millions of men that didn't say that or, or they couldn't hold it in whatever situation they got cheated on, they got played, so it just came out. But mm-hmm. I just ain't never. But told you them. are cognizant now behind the uh, closed door, right? Right. Cause oh, you won't believe what this mother did but to me. But that comes back to how people survive and how people don't in a relationship because those type of things should be behind closed doors. Whatever, if me and you were together, whatever issue we're having, no one outside of you and I should ever, 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 ever know. And ever. I think that's why. And I'm not saying like you can't talk to your friends, but when we're in a public place, I don't oh, care no. how can't mad you are at me or how mad I am at you. you. Can't do that. Not one person around us should ever know. I can't even I can't even watch somebody do that to their girl in public. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yo, you need to chill, bro. It, well, it depends like, on how big they are. If they're like but six, I'm seven, saying seven, not I'm even like, there should not be an inkling. No one should even go, well, what's wrong? What y'all seem off today. What's the matter? No no one should know that. And that's a well. big problem with people today. Because like I said, if you're in a relationship, it's not a community effort. It has nothing to do with every, I'm not saying you can't reach out, you can't talk about it, you can't this, you can't that, but you have to you have to understand when it comes down to it, it's between you and that person. Mm. Well. And people I think take in not that it's wrong to talk to people about it, but you can't People are not in your situation. True that. So you can only listen to so much. And maybe you just need to vent. Maybe you just need to let it out. But people let outside opinions dictate their mindset and how they're thinking about what's going on. Social media. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll get to well, that. You we'll know, get we to that in a minute. Again, I only and then have I a think, Facebook. I think one of the biggest things is why people stay in f up relationships. Mm. It's beneficial. Same routine, especially when it comes to money. If the guy paying most of the bills, or the, or, the, or the girl really, paying, I told you I never went. Nobody look, that wanted to pay for nothing. If the, I don't well, know what's wrong with me. Well, you need to change your criteria. <laughs> your criteria is jacked up. But I think a lot of a lot of women, some men, they stay in relationships based on status money. and what it looks like. Mm-hmm. I've known a lot of people, especially women that just, mm-hmm. you see on social media, they here, they, they traveled here, they traveled mm-hmm. there, they doing this, and then 
when you talk to them on a personal level, mm-hmm. they just so unhappy. I'm like, you were just on Instagram. I think posting y'all was just in in in, in Barbados. With bottles on a, on a boat? Because it appears. Yeah. It appears one way. And, I, I, again, I speak for myself. I don't speak for other women. And people might get mad. People might understand. People might agree. But I think women get in situations. You believe the representative that you have met. The representative. There's always a representative. You got to get past that representative. Rip, rip, rip. Yes. And then I think... You believe so wholeheartedly, I'm the one that's different. I'm the one he's going to be different for. I'm the one he's going to change. You know what? That's why I heard that before. Mm -hmm. I heard women always believe the guy going to change. Well, I don't know. Let me tell you. Not that we believe it, but you... I think you when it comes, it. when it comes to you a, just want it. A grown you want, everybody man. Everybody wants to be loved. When it comes to a grown man and he come across like he hard and tough, mm-hmm. if he break down and cry, it's a beautiful you, thing. Oh man, he tell you he gonna change. Uh, you can't, oh, we were going in two different you directions. You can't leave him. I ain't never had no cry. If a man, cry, if, so if a man change. break down and cry and say he's sorry, a woman ain't going nowhere. No. Oh no, I'm talking about a grown man break down and cry. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> it was a mistake. If she did, if she just a, just a tough ass hardcore, hard, I'm gonna tell you hardcore. even the toughest though. You can sit right next to a woman who's as a female speaking with other females, and they will tell you till they have no breath left in them. Don't do that. Don't put up with that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Do the same thing. And you look and realize, but you with you, a man uh, you've been with for ten years. That money. Doing the same. no, not even about that man, money. About something. that hope. Money, money is the, I'm not going to say the root of all evil because everybody says that, mm-hmm. but money is um the more, number one reason for situations going bad. I, I, I don't know from that. I have never been with anybody for their money. I'm, I'm the stepping stone. This is a sad, well, let me tell you from my perspective, I'm the female that's there when you don't have shit. <laughs> you ain't got shit. <sighs> oh my like God. you, not even in a bad way, but like. You have your aspirations. This is what you're trying to do. I'm there. I, I I don't care because what you have doesn't make what I have. Until if we're married, then it's ours. But up until that point, you could have millions. You could have nothing. It ain't mine. Well, but I'm the one that's there. This is and this is how I've been burned, and this is just my personal story. But I'm always I'm there. There and then when. Things get going better. I'm like the pre-marriage woman. Oh, wow. Everybody that's been with me after me, they all they, sudden get uh, engaged. Yeah, they got their power paid, okay? But I, I have a problem. I got pride. I don't ask for nothing. I think, like, money and social media, they intertwine together. Mm-hmm. Image. It, it's it's the image. It's the, it done got to a, a all-time high. Because I've seen so many females on, on Facebook. Instagram, Snapchat. They want to be known as they have money. They travel here. They got diamonds. They got clothes. They got jewels. So no matter what the guy do, trust Charlotte ain't that ain't that big. It's it's Don't big to that. some people. If you mm-hmm. from if you from Henderson, North Carolina, it's big. Right. But if you from Charlotte, you will realize it ain't that big. Mm-hmm. And I done seen so many people. I'm like, oh you. Mm-hmm. Yikes! I know you to mess with girls and guys. Like, I'm, yeah. Oh yeah, you to mess with so and so and so and so. But it's all about image, and I think a lot of people. I think for me, it's it's hard for a lot of people to go to sleep and wake up and portray that same image. Because every here's a big problem, day. and again, I might have people hating on me and not agreeing and all that. Hater. I am all about. Equality, women and men being able to do the same thing. But the problem, people have become so focused on women and men doing the same thing. We have to understand that there are gender roles. If I'm a female and I want to be with the male, he needs to feel like the man. And I need to feel like the woman. I'm just saying. And what's happened is, it's great that women can 
potentially make the same amount of money a man can, maybe more. Maybe I'm with a guy, I make more than he does. Mm -hmm. That's great. But when I come home... He feel like the boss. Right. You Not the boss, but he feels no, like... No, but you need to feel, feel like, like the he, man. He feel like he got you. Uh, d- he feel because, like he got everything under control. Yes. You don't want to emasculate the man, and I think what happens is that gets all misconstrued, and then it flows over to... Men, when I said they're acting like females, being kind of, you know, mm-hmm. having a little attitude and True. stuff, that's where it's all messed up. I, tr- I agree. Opinion. I agree with that. I agree. I agree with that, and I agree with like the whole. Men don't want to be dominant, but men want to be like, "Yo, I got." But you, you. Sh- no, so you come, I not- should never be with a man that don't want to be dominant. You're the man. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying yeah. when, when she come home, it's like. Or you come home, I got everything under control. Mm-hmm. I think simple shit works though. Like, but this is where we come. The I think five simple. As we were discussing the five love languages yeah, 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 that yeah. comes into play because you one, have to know. I got one language. I'm not gonna tell you. But um, yours is physical touch. <laughs> no, mine's get that goddamn money. But um, <laughs> the, nah, that's my that's self love. Yeah, that's what I tell myself. That's what you. But here, that's then we like come self. into this. But see, that might be you want a woman that's about that. Oh, sorry for the uh Tink Tink. Yeah, for, sorry for the Did y'all hear that poor? <laughs> Crown Apple at its finest. Anyway, um I think um I think it's a big uh You can't put your phone down. I can't. It's a big problem with um like you said, with a man feeling dominant. When I say dominant, but he should, I mean like yeah. you wanna make sure and your I'm not girl, saying women sure should, girl should feel inferior, but we, but there's a gender role, and even probably even in like same sex relationships because somebody's more of the dominant mm. Mm, person okay. Okay. than so it's not just men and women, mm, okay. it's just a balance, True. and I think the balance oh, has been all thrown that. off. Huh. Well, I will say this: when it comes to dominance and um. You know, time and who does this and the benefit. I think, like I mentioned before, mm-hmm. when you work a job, the times you work, that mm-hmm. takes a big, that's a big factor. I've known one of my homeboys, I ain't going to say his name. <clears throat> Do I know him? He's been through two marriages. Yeah. And you know why he got a divorce? Hmm. Because he worked third shift. And he told me, don't know, don't know why. Listen, let me finish. You about to say something. Mm-hmm. Don't know why you want to be at home at night. Every day. Uh, Monday, Monday through Friday. Don't know a woman. Well, well really, it's Tuesday through Saturday because but wait, but, but, you're going in Monday so, night. But, 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 but if you know, here's the other part of that. If I know that he's doing what he needs to do to be the provider and that's what some men being a provider don't make them feel like a man. But a lot of men being the provider is what makes them feel be- that. But, but, but. Yeah, yeah. Was, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It makes them feel like the man. So if that's what he has to do to provide and feel that manhood and masculinity, then don't emasculate him. Some women don't understand that. Some women feel like the guy need to be at home at night. So you sit up there and you love you love each other. You get married, you have kids, and then his job say, "Hey, I need you to go to third shift." And then he's like, "Hey, I got a wife at home and kids. Mm-hmm. They won't move them. What you gonna do? Quit?" Here's my thing: If you're married, this and I'm gonna get a little religious on you. Okay. Um, Buddhist. It no. <laughs> I'm just play. I'm just like. It's. Let me just <laughs> <laughs> let me just finish what I say. Cross teeth, dot if your eyes, okay. you are married, it does not matter where you got married, who you got married in front of, what vows you said. If that partnership is not sanctioned by God, and that's not who God created for you to be with, it will never last. That's why a lot of marriages don't last. A lot of marriages last off of how many years you've been together. Right. Like I was in a situation in the past where. After two years, she was like, well, "This is you no know, people talking to her at work. You no know, old older women that's been divorced and stuff. If he ain't trying to marry you after two years, then he don't plan on marrying." I'm like, "Hold on, 
I'm like, you. They don't know our situation. They don't know my right. situation. It might be. We might have talked about and it. And I've always said, my, this is just me personally. Mm-hmm. If I get married, I want my financial situation to be straight. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mistake I'll, number one. No, 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 no. Be, listen, you listen. You are never going. It does not matter because when you meet that benchmark, you're going to have another benchmark. That's cool. You cannot base. A religious and spiritual joining no, no, of two no, people on finances. I will speak this to the death that's not of me. It, dang yeah, you're not letting me finish. Let me know when you get married, Terry. Okay. Anyway, well, well, the lottery is always an option. But anyway, I'm just saying. The no, what's the number one cause of divorces? Money, but you have okay. to understand. Oh, well, well. You that's contradiction. But you got to be with no hashtag. I have been with contradiction. People. That I have never, our arguments were never about money because when you don't have it, I got it. I got you. And that's what people forget. So, wait, wait, wait. Partnership what, 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 is about. what if both of them don't have it? You're going to figure it out together. Shit. And if you can't figure it out together, Shit. then you don't need to be married. Because the reality, a partnership. Wait, wait, wait. Say, wait down, say that again. I got you. Say that and again. When I'm down, say that you again. got me. If, we, if you can't what? Figure it out. And so, if you can't figure it out financially, we don't be. We don't need to be married. It's not even about finances. It's about support. Because it might not even be finances. You might be going through some shit emotionally. No, I'm just telling. I'm just saying, when you're down, I got you. No. And when I'm down, you some got pe- me. Some people don't. But that, then it ain't it so not gonna work. So both people love each other, and then they get married. Say they, at the, at the time, they have enough finances to get their own home. Somebody get laid off. Mm-hmm. Or That's some, right. Or, or, or somebody get fired. So, it comes to we live in this good life, and then we got to cut back on this because. But you I know get, what? Wait, let me finish. None that, of it no, no, matter. no, no. Let me finish. Because you got me, and I got. Let you. me finish. How do you feel if you come home? And yep, let Go me finish. Ahead, you could, I'm about to get you come you home. You one. you come home, and the show you've been watching for three months. You come home. You got mind what you gonna eat. And then you hit that damn remote, and the cable's off. And I, you, wait, you I've been ain't, there. Wait, you ain't got the money to pay for it. He ain't got the money to pay for it. And then you say, babe, mm-hmm. why the cable off? Well, I got laid off. I ain't got the money this month. Oh, wait, wait. Let me finish. Let Go me ahead. finish. Then Go it's, ahead, then it's, I'm oh, ready. Then it's okay. Cool. And then it's okay. Finally, he get the money to pay for it. And then you come home, and you hop in the shower. And the hot water is Been through it. Babe, oh, baby. Oh. What, what's Cold the, water, wait, no what, what, cable, what, what, bologna sandwiches, butter on it's toast. It's about money. So with me, I I, didn't leave I'm, just, I'm just telling you for me. I'm just telling you for me. I can't get married unless I know I can handle everything on my own. But you don't know what's to come. I know for me what I can handle on my own. Right. Then you ain't ready to get married. No, no, that's not the truth. I, put, I, got, I got to know no matter what. I'm not saying every person Wait. I've been with has been a negative experience. I've been down low with people that were great people. But the difference was when that moment hit and somebody was panicked, I called them Chicken Little. Chicken Little. I held the sky up. When I came home and I felt the sky was falling, no matter what we had, you held the sky up. That's what it's about. Some people can't. That's not the right one. Do you know how many, Daniel? Do you know how many people out here struggling? Hey, how you doing? Let me give no, you an intro. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you get in a situation where it's the it for me, I just want to make sure that we live a, a certain life to that where ain't what life is about. No, it is. That's that is. What but life I'm gonna is about. tell you. Then for you me, that's keep, what life is about. Th- this is the thing. You keep aiming for that goal, and you let me know when you get married. Well, because you're gonna hit that benchmark, okay. and then you're gonna say, mm, "Oh, ooh, it's not enough. Let me make sure I got this much." Love, true. true love, and partnership is doesn't have a number. That's not. That's not what that I'm saying. That is what you're saying. No, it's not. You're saying until I'm I have saying, this number in my bank account, I'm saying I can't. How you know I got that now? <gasps> I, don't, I don't know what you got, <gasps> but that's the difference just, between me and you. I'm I just ain't saying, asking. I'm just saying, for me, I got to know I can handle everything before 
we go to that next step. But maybe that's what so, that partner no, listen, does for you. Listen, can I finish? Unless you know that can I be you black can and handle can it. Can I be black and fantasy? Oh, okay, go ahead. What I'm saying is, so long. if someone comes into my life and they can help support that, mm-hmm. what kind of lifestyle does that lead to? That's even better. If mm. I can take care of everything and then you can support me, mm. you can, su- you can mm. support mm. us. Mm. You're missing the whole spiritual concept no, of I'm marriage, not. baby. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> No, and I'm not. And that is a problem no, for I'm people not. today. You don't understand, like, you don't understand to go through something where you like, this situation looks hopeless. I don't have it. She don't have it. Don't nobody have it. So all we talk, do you, do you, you been in a situation where all y'all talking about the bills? I've been in, yes, I've been in a situation where the person came home and said, I don't even know how to tell you this, but it's gone. Everything is gone. And then you held it up. And I said, Calm down. You got everything. We're going to be good. Now, I, I hustled. He hustled. Okay. Now, I'm saying you can't sit around with then. a motherfucker that don't do shit. Because uh, well, I've been in those situations, too. Now, I'll hold you up for a little bit. But it, you go hustle any way you got to hustle to bring a couple dollars home. Nah. Do it. I don't, I, I don't know. I just, I've seen too many you situations. You never know what life is well, going to throw at you. It's not about well, that's what why, you have. I, I've said that before. I've said that before. You don't know. Like the po- I've seen the people with the most money being younger and my parents' friends, the one couple that had the most money had the hardest time when he it. got it, sick. So it doesn't matter how much money mo- you have. It ain't have, about the most it's money. It's about the partnership. Another one of my parents' friends, the advice they gave me, he said, it's not about this. It's not about his wife went through breast cancer. She survived. She's surviving. She's doing great. But the one bit I took from them, he told me, he said, it's not about this. It's not about that. It's about the person that you're with and knowing you can make it through anything with them. We're in like a serious debate. Oh, this, this is serious. So let me ask you a question. Let me tell you if it, the circumstance. So when it comes to money. So I know someone, I'm not going to say their name. They said, young female, when they turn 27, 28, they're not going to work anymore because they're going to be married and they can't work a full-time job and raise kids. What type of message does that send the man? I'm going to tell you what it sends. Oh, let me finish. I, you Ooh, can't. Can you, I give you my no, opinion you before you give yours? Because no, because mine might be good. Can I finish? Can I, no, let me do mine you first. Me Why well, can't I finish? No, I want you to finish, right, but ahead, I want you to hear mine right, because you're going to be shocked by mine. Oh, really? no, I think ahead. from the man's perspective, if she says that, he's going to say, okay, she's willing to settle. I'm. A, go ahead. Come on. I can do what I need to do with you, and then I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do over here because I already know. I already know okay. that you. This is all you want. Okay. So I'm gonna provide that, and I'm gonna tell you to you sit down what? and shut up while I go do that I'm over there. I'm gonna buy there. you a shot of tequila. Huh. That's exactly what I was about to yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies, if if that's your goal, boop. that's that's what's gonna happen. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, you're just gonna sit at home. Oh, okay. Right. Because what are you gonna complain about? You don't about? have a backup plan. Right. Like I got if, you. Like if you know your your girl got a. A career. It don't even have to be a big pan career, but she got a career. You know, she can move out, go get an apartment, house mm-hmm. on her own if nothing works out. But if Is you he say, coming down here? Uh, no way. If you say, um, I'm going to sit at home, raise these yeah. kids. No way. Oh, I'm going to work. And this is I'm where. I'm going to pick up shifts three days a week. It's not going to happen. This is where the roles cross over from letting your man feel like a man and then just giving him the power. Because a relationship, no matter what, the man is the man, but we need to, we're a partnership, so we're going to do this together. But when you say stuff like that, you gave every last bit of your power away. Let me tell you, though, this is a perfect segue. So like you said, she gives her power away, he can do what he wants, right? Mm-hmm. And then... The situation why people stay in toxic relationships mm-hmm. comes the cheat, mm. the gifts. Mm-hmm. You give the gifts because you sitting at home, you're not working. Baby, I'm sorry, I jacked up. You come home with that I'm not necklace. Not a gift receiver though. That ain't gonna make. I'm it not happen. saying you. I'm talking the majority. You come home with that diamond necklace, that diamond watch, new ring, I whatever. I will throw it away in a heartbeat. And then that's one aspect of the money. 
the 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 second thing is is popularity. You dating a club owner, club promoter, ball player, Mm -hmm. you want that image. Mm -hmm. Even though you caught him cheating, or you caught her Mm -hmm. cheating, this is who you with. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if I'm dating J Lo, and she cheat on me, but I'm with J Lo, Mm. or for you, you're dating Steven Seagal. (laughs) <laughs> Steven Seagal, ew. That's my guy. That's my you guy. Know, That's my. Don't hate on Steven Seagal. I mean, really. All right. Say so you dating uh, uh, not Reggie Bush. Uh, Reggie Bush is he's give a little, me he's too short. Give he's me a little wild. Uh, Kobe Bryant. Oh, uh, you know my man. That thing you got that neck cut because it's Kobe. Um, hey, Van- Vanessa, Vanessa Bryant, don't take it personal. Just, just, just it's a compliment enough. to you, boo, because I kept his picture on my desk even when he fucked up too. So, <laughs> it's, just, it's just an example. You know what I'm saying? It's that, um, it's that image, man. Like, it's the image. I'm but it all comes book. back to if image. if you're with somebody about the the whole toxic relationship thing. And here is where I told you females are gonna be mad at me. Ooh, ooh. But I'm going to be real. That female that seems so strong and so independent and so empowered that tells you when you do something that comes across as quote unquote weak to her is the first one that you're going to catch doing the same thing that you would have done, but you're just open about it. Right. I've met females, been friends with females, work with females that will jump on you for doing something that they call yeah, you weak. Said, Nick, I, damn, damn, you stupid. I was telling you. I asked a man <laughs> had, that had been overseas for months, what color do you want me to paint my nails? I thought that was sweet. That's something. It don't cost me nothing. You like pink nails? My nails going to be pink when you come home. Them purple and black Baltimore. Raven nails. Had you been overseas <laughs> or gone for a long time and you said, I want purple and black nails i got you, Girl, you that ain't much you them but the first nails. female that told me oh that's too much. too much really why is it too much for me to paint my nails the color he likes and then two weeks later who's driving your car Ooh. he ain't driving my car what up? but the thing is women <laughs> we should be strong we should empower each other but not on a false level gas gone and i think women try to appear one way just be real with each other. We're all doing the same thing. We, the, When it comes down to it, if I love you and I want to be with you, I want to please you. Period. Please. I'm just saying. Please, please. So me. if we all let our guard down, we all do the same thing. We all let the same shit happen. We excuse the same behavior because we want it to be you want it to work. something true. Right. And sometimes it's not. But if if women... I don't want to get all man hating, but whole. if women would band together and be more honest with each other, there wouldn't be no side chicks. Mm. Because the only reason that he gets to fuck you is because you know he's with me and you let him. Ooh. If you tell me you got a fiance or you got a wife, guess what happens to you with me personally? You're going to tell him. No, I'm not going to mess it up for you. You go live with her and do what you want to do, but you ain't doing it with me. And if every woman did that, it's women. Women are fighting women. It's not the men. Men are just taking advantage of the situation. Girl, you better have some haters at the this one. They, we all know it's true because yeah. everybody can everybody can That's get mad and say it ain't though. true, what but it's true. It if if we said no. But they got a whole show about side chicks. Proud to be side chicks. You know you're a side chick and you're proud to tell people, I'm a side chick. Yo. If I'm a side chick, which I'm not going to say I ain't never been, I ain't telling nobody. Side chick. Ain't telling Shout nobody. I'm Pope. not calling your wife. I'm not calling your girlfriend because when it comes down to it, I'm the idiot. I'm the one that said yes, knowing you're going to go back to her. That's your number one. All about image. So shut your what we talking about? motherfucking All about image. mouth. <laughs> from a, I'm going to be honest. From a guy's perspective, why guys stay in bad... Re- I'm talking about bad Yeah, let me hear this. Oh, this... I'm going to tell you Because I don't what, know. Because I've never been no, in a bad relationship. I've always been 
with the bad relationship. I'm gonna Cause you know, I'm I'm perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. I'm not crazy. Not P E R P U R. Perfect. Uh, um, so I'ma be a hundred percent honest. Let me why hear dudes it. why dudes stay in relationships that are jacked up. Why? Effed up one the woman bad, the woman cheat. She treat them like this, this, and that. Women cheat. Don't do that. Huh. Shh. Huh. Not, not, not shit, but shh. I ain't know no woman to cheat. <laughs> the number, the, I'm gonna tell you from my perspective, the number one reason. Yeah, what is it? Why guys stay in effed up relationships mm-hmm. is because the woman is attractive. And he, Dang listen, it. let me finish. Is that why they keep coming back? He's, she, <laughs> She's a, she's attractive, and he's fearful. He's never going to find another woman that attractive. Again. And you know what? I I I believe it because when I look at the ones, because obviously I'm not married, I'm not engaged, I can't find nobody. But the ones I've been with, when they all cheated, and when they do, I'm like, really, really? Yeah. I even said to one girl's face, "That's what you want." Oh no! You That's- said it to her face. Yeah. That means you ready to throw down. No, I sat down real calm. That means, was she white? No. She must have been. She didn't know me. So you said that to her face. and she I did. And she ain't do nothing. No. Ooh, because That means I, you, you were ready to throw them hands. No, if I'm sitting oh, down. Oh, you was ready to throw them I'm hands. If I'm sitting down and you're standing up, which one of us is scared? I'm sitting. I ain't worried about you. I'm sitting down. I can stand up too. So that means you was ready to throw them hands. I didn't have to. But you was ready. She was gone. You was ready and throw the man. I didn't have to. But I will say. If you have to. Other women can probably say the same thing. When you look. when Because we've all had men that cheated. When you look at the one they cheat with. The first thing you think is really? Really. But. There's also an aspect that you have to understand. That's coming from that person. That don't have nothing to do with looks. Mm. So then you have to be introspective. Like, what are you doing? Right. Why? Why? Yeah. yeah. The way you treat your, the way mm-hmm. you treat your dude has something to do with it. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes you can treat him the best that you can, and it's just stuff. People got all types. I'm of gonna issues. tell you right now. Yeah. If you treat your dude good, from from my perspective, mm-hmm. he's not. He ain't gonna. Nah. But again, like we said in the beginning of the episode, Terry. I'm a little different. You're a different breed. <laughs> I'm different breed. I'm I hell, will say hell, that yeah. from a female's perspective, handsome, as much as I hate to say it, it's just you are I a different breed. Nah, if she's taking care of everything, you're not gonna. You're too scared to f that up. If you be, I be like, no. Well, but sometimes no. it might be too scary that it is that good. Nah, not for and me. If it's good, <laughs> depending on the issues people have within themselves, a lot of this comes down to male or female toxic yeah, relationships. Come can, down to what you are dealing with if with yourself. She can fry chicken. Oh, I fun. can make some real bad collard greens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on the fried chicken. But I'm telling you, that's the number one. Like it all comes down. The reality is, I'm, it comes down to what's it. within yourself. I had. I had a couple of exes. I'm like, I just deal with the BS. I'm like, man, I can't. Well, man, we can't envision. I don't know how women mm-hmm. see it visually, mm-hmm. but I can't envision another guy doing that. To her? Oh, my God. What do you think makes women crazy? I'm and, just but saying, see, here's a th- sick thing about women, and I shouldn't base anything on reality shows, but I was watching a reality show and the girl said it, and it clicked with me. There's this sick thing in women. Not all women. I don't know, but I'm going to speak for myself <laughs> again. But you cheated, so now it's almost like this, like, I'm going to prove, like, oh, you thought you wanted? Th-? It's like a weird, like, mm. competitive thing. But again, Scary. it comes down to... As a female, I don't care how interested I am in you. If I find out you got somebody significant, fiance, girlfriend, wife, whatever it is, that's my job to say, oh, no, we're not going to go any further. You don't owe me anything. You owe her something. I'm not her. 
Mm. So when it comes down to it, I'm disposable. Yeah. And if I say yeah, you're going to say yeah. Uh, I just, I don't know. How long have we been talking? I don't know. Who gives a damn? Okay. But anyway, it's just. You can catch me any a, day. <laughs> <laughs> That's just from a guy's perspective that, especially me, I'm like, I used to be like that before. I'm like, nah, yeah. I can't even. Knowing what I used to do. Yeah, envisioning you can't somebody. Think like I'm that. like, oh, you, can't. you have to let no. it go. You have to let it go. No, no, no. I know ain't no man doing this. Uh, and yeah. once you done it, and they gonna I, let I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna tell you why it. it's different from a guy and girl. A, a girl just see a guy. It's like, oh, he's just doing. It. He's just bang, 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 bang. No, a hey. guy's like, oh, he's bang, bang, bang. Yeah, getting all the And then you start thinking about movement since, oh, my God. I think women think like that, too. Like, oh, you're doing this with her. You're doing that with her. You did no, that with No, it's different, me. though, because the guy would be like, oh, you, you know what I'm saying? You just imagine, like, what if he what if he hurt her? Like, what if she's like, oh, it's too, too, you know. Well. Yeah, you're like, yo. That's a reality what, you have what, to accept. What 50 say? Go get the strap. Because the reality is. Go get the strap We're right never going to tell you. If you're the biggest or the baddest, you better. we keep it quiet. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. <laughs> we know tell. how to keep those secrets. Yeah, yeah, keep that. Well, I don't have to worry about that. Because I've always been told <laughs> I'll bring wood to the campfire every time. I'm gonna wow, take, that's a whole I'm going to take a bathroom break. Yeah, take, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, just kidding. Take, yeah, well, hey, I'm just saying. Nah, 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 I think nah, we nah, haven't I, really I delved into the toxic to the part of the relationships. I, I, I'm just going to, this. that's what I'm going to say on it. It's as simple as that. People stay in things that are toxic because of issues within themselves. I have my own issues. I don't know if you have issues, but the reality is, Whatever it is that you're trying to figure out within mm. affects what you accept on the outside. Right. And and it is true when people say people only treat you how you allow them to treat you. That is true. It That's 100% true. You have to figure out why you're letting that happen. What is it within yourself? Because the reality is it's not the other person. Because once I realize that you're not treating me as I should be treated, that's not your fault. I've realized you're not doing what you need to be doing. It's my fault for allowing you to continue to do it. Right. I think people, again, like in our the last discussion we had, accountability. <laughs> accountability. Accountability. I have to be responsible and accountable enough to look at myself and say, why are you accepting that type of treatment? Right. And in some situations, the toxicity might just be temporary. It might be something y'all are going through and you say, you know what, we can work through this. We can, we can pull out of this. But in other situations... It's never going to go away. That person is not going to change. You're not going to change. So it's a point of like just just letting go and being secure that it's going to be okay. You're going to be – it's going to be hard. People aren't open enough about when you do – when you are in a situation like that, asking for support outside of that person or being open and saying, this is really what's going on. Hmm. Mm. Well, you know, some people don't like, don't like telling their business. So they don't. And I'm not saying you should tell everybody your business because everybody don't have the best interest at heart, but you need to have to talk to God. Yeah. That's who you need to talk to. And, and I, I touched on my, my last mm. two points. Okay. It's deep. All right. It's deep. I hope nobody feels a certain way about it. Brilliant. I really hope. Okay. Because let me let me just let me just state. I've had family members that's been in prison. Mm -hmm. I've had homeboys that's been locked up. I've known people that's been locked up. People that have been involved with people that have been locked up. Mm -hmm. I've known people that uh that's been treated bad. Mm -hmm. For the life of me, I cannot understand. 
I, I don't understand why women stay in relationships that just, I'm like, you getting verbally, I ain't going to even go, I ain't even going to touch on physical. That's mm-hmm. a whole different. This is a whole nother episode. Yeah, that's though. a whole nother uh, emotional. Because there's a difference between a toxic relationship and an abusive relationship. Well, toxic is if toxic you, is surface level. It's just abusive that goes into the emotional, the physical. I won't even say verbally or physical. Mental. I will say if the guy is cheating, the girl is cheating. You know it. You go to a club, a bar. You see that person with another person, mm-hmm. and then y'all fight, cause a scene, whatever the case may be, and mm-hmm. then. Months later, y'all end up back together. And then Mm -hmm. y'all together a few months, you post pictures on social media. And then the same thing happens. I'm not talking about one or two times. I'm talking about four or five, six times. I don't understand why people do that. Then y'all end up having another baby. Mm -hmm. And then he leaves again. And he goes mess with somebody else. And then you're you're just done with him. You stuck with two kids. You try to you you don't want to put them on child support, but then you do put them on child support. Then you mm-hmm. feel bad, and then months later, year later, y'all get back together again. You post some stuff on social media, or you're dealing with somebody. He gets jammed up. The only reason you're dealing with him is because he hustling. He getting that fast money. Mm-hmm. The only reason he hustling and getting that fast money. Is because he wants you because you're attractive. Once he get jammed up, he gone for 20 plus. But you got hopes for appeal. We're not going to go into my, and you just my waiting. story. You just waiting, 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 waiting. You pass up on good guy after good guy after good guy. And then when you're 40, 50 plus and your kids are old and they mm-hmm. gone, you stuck. And he's still in there. I don't, un- I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand the concept. It comes from within. I don't understand. So it. until you acknowledge and accept and deal with and face all those demons within, you're going to accept less than better for you. Period. And I'm not saying I'm not guilty of it. I still work on bettering myself and understanding why I've accepted what I've accepted, why I don't cut things off sooner than I should. And it's crazy because you can, anybody on the outside, I have female friends, male friends that can boost my self-esteem so quickly or try to and say, well, he doesn't know what he's missing. He doesn't realize what he had. But maybe it's not him that's not realizing what he had. Maybe it's me not realizing what I am. True. True that. I'm just saying. I'm you can't saying. fault somebody for what you allow them to do. I can't fault you <sighs> because you came home smelling like perfume and I and I confront you about it. Whether you tell the truth or whether you lie, in my heart I know. But I stay and you don't fix it. And and again, you're supposed to forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive, but forgiving does not mean that you have to accept it. I just don't understand. I mean, I guess from a guy's perspective, we don't understand. Forgiving? We're like, yo, like, I can, like, your situation could be 30 times better. Mm-hmm. Why do you continue to settle for the same? It comes from within. And sometimes people don't even realize like that that's what it is. But the reality, and, and again, I am guilty of it. I have accepted situations I shouldn't have accepted. I still accept situations I shouldn't. I'm still kind and nice and reach out and all this and all that. But it comes down to when for yourself do you say, you know what, that's, Unacceptable. Cut it off. Mm-hmm. I just feel bad for certain people. That's all I gotta say. I feel bad for certain people. I just don't understand. All right. <laughs> Is that Let me tell you, will you hear will you hear a guy say that? Alright, yeah. Done. You know for, all right. for yeah. a woman it is. You hear somebody say, I'm good. 
What? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I, you yeah, good? Cool. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm, cool. I'm, straight. I'm straight. You know what it is through text message? K. Not yeah. okay. When a woman say K, K. <laughs> your ass finished. And don't come at me with a bitch ass response. That's when you need to shut. Even up. yeah. Even when a woman say, "I'm all right. I'm good." Well, no, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm all right. Or the oh okay. Mm. If I put oh okay, period. <laughs> Don't answer. I'll be like, you know what? I'm gonna call my homeboys. Mm-hmm. We're going to uptown. Toxicity comes from within. Make it rain. It does. Toxic. Say, uh, uh, excuse me. Toxicity. Toxicity comes from within. Oh my gosh. So the enunciation. If you're tox- you're inebriated, thank you. It's pretty impressive. I work on it. I move my mouth very. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Don't let these little <laughs> the lips are, fool kids, you. Kids are listening. Be careful. School's no, just, but I think in it, but, that's know. an epiphany I just had. Toxicity comes from within. So whatever your levels of toxicity are for yourself is what you're going to allow in. So until I fix the toxicity within myself and my own whatever it is, I'm going to accept it from other people. I've and it's heard, hard. It's not easy. I've heard... When a woman is mentally done, mm-hmm. that's it. Oh yeah. When she mentally, when she, and when men, she can accept, no matter what you've done, when she mm, can, when she mm, can say, mm. no matter what you say, I will not, I will not go back. Oh, that kills y'all. Mm. Kills y'all because, and this is what men don't realize. I, yeah, I'm y'all. a very forgiving y'all. Well, you're a man. Well, I'm. Not, I'm I don't think I've been in a situation where. You're a different breed. I've been breed. like, yo, I want to come back to you. And she said, no, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I've never been in that situation. You might not have pushed it that far. And this is, maybe I've just been with them type of people. Maybe I'm just a snack. You know, well, I've had this well, discussion well, well, with maybe. my friend because they all come back. And I'm like, are they coming back because it was good or because it was easy? Ooh, easy. Ooh, which is it? I always thought because it was just that good. Hmm. But then I was like, maybe I'm just that easy. Which what? is it? Oh. That's another episode. That's another story for another We need day. a male How panel for that. I? Yeah. How easy am I? Yeah. Am I good or am I easy? Which I don't is think it? I'm that easy, man. You no. Know, man, you deal with Terry. You You're deal the, with Yeah. Wrong... I, I will acknowledge you are, as far as I know you, you're a different breed. <laughs> Gosh, I might change my rap name. I to said, as far yeah. as I know, you well, <laughs> rap name. Yeah, that's some gangster different breed. I bet y'all sell a million. Ain't records. nobody got no different. Drake, breed. I'm coming to the top, bruh. Different breed, aka you are. I, I, from Frost. what I know. Now, other people that know you on different levels might be like, ah, he ain't shit. But from, mm. from what I know, you on you you. you Carry yourself a little mm. more old school. Well, well, um, mm-hmm. we've covered a lot. I know we've been just chatting. I mean, we can't give the people any more than what we gave them. I know I don't give them too much because you know. Well, we can give them enough. And there's a lot any, of stories. Any, anything more they got to pay. Mm, yeah. I think I'd be a good uh, consultant or therapist. It? Yeah, ther- not consultant, therapist. Well, consultant. What, oh. well, what, what are you trying to help people with? Everything. Mm-hmm. You have to be a good listener. You know, I've been told uh, you can't help everybody. No, you can't. And even when you are a therapist, yeah, the key is you don't give people answers. Basically, you are there, you listen. And you allow them to find the answer themselves. So everybody thinks like, "Well, I'm gonna go through see a therapist. They're gonna give me. An- they're not gonna give you an answer." I give my answer. You no. At the wild blade. That's unethical. I'd be like, you know what? I you can't. It. No. After can't. after a while. You can't. I'd be you like, can't. Oh, I can. No. After a while, I just say, you know what? The game. The game come on in, in twenty minutes. You know what song you should have played for the opening? What? Britney Spears, Toxic. Ain't no way in the world. <laughs> She'll sue the hell out of me. I'll sue her ass back for <laughs> racial discrimination. I'll sing it. Um, <laughs> I think, um, I don't know. If the Ravens about to play in 20 minutes. Are they 
really? No, I said it. Oh, God. I was like, is it already football Man, season? Let me tell you something. <laughs> if the Ravens were playing in 20 minutes, you would be nowhere near me right now. I need a whole hour and a half to get my mind programmed. But see, that's the thing. I'm the type of person that I, if I know you like to watch the Ravens, I'd be like, you want to stay? What you want me to make? You want to invite people over? I'll make food. Like, no, but you, you got to find just, somebody. Just to stay at home and, and, and clean up. I'm and like, cool, bye. I will, uh, I will go see Steve and Frog's establishment. And, um, oh, Steve and Frog. My gosh. Did I tell you about what Frog did for me when I went to Wilmington? Yes, I'm a little jealous. We're not going to talk about that on air because... Because you could have called me. Man, that boy... Uh, and I'm mad because... Um, frog, frog hello. Dog. Frog, that's my dog. Man. I was your number one. Nah, I think I'm Frog number one. Who the girl? Nah. Number one. I'm just, I'm just, I was the number I'm, one in number the orange gangster. shorts while I was there. Well, that's different. I'm number one gangster. Gang, gang. He thinks you're gangster. I'm a, I'm a Just let him keep thinking I'm that. Gangster. I'm a gangster, man. I'm, I'm a gangster boo. They call me Frank Lucas in Charlotte. I know Frank they, Lucas. Well, they call well, they call me a few things. They call me Frank Lucas. <sighs> Den, Denzel, I mean, I don't literally Den, know Denzel Frank Lucas, Ferber. but I know who Frank um, Lucas is. I think what they, they about to start calling me James St. Patrick's. No. <laughs> no. Frank so, Lucas was in New Jack no, City. No, he was not. Which one? American Gangster. New Jack City was Nino Brown. Oops. Nino was. Dang Nino. it! Every time I'm on here, I lose Nino my Nino card. Nino, my dog, man. Wesley, Wesley did his thing. Nino, Nino Brown. With the fur. That's Nino. when they saw him at the boxing match. Nino Brown. No, you, that's Frank Lucas at the boxing Am match. Am I mixing up movies? You, you are. Stay so in. I was on the right person, stay, just wrong movie. Stay, okay, stay in my lane. Stay in community. On the white side. Yeah, stay in community. <laughs> Um, <laughs> trying to cross over it's not happening people they, all right, they better start calling me Jane St. Patrick ghost power you gotta watch I if watch you ain't watch power, power this hey, is I, why we need to record these I just these sit up here and on, promote a power 50 cent owe me money I'll take it 50 to court I just promote a power I wish you would I'll fight 50 uh-huh. what? Uh-huh. 50 ruthless yeah and I'm ruthless Terry 50, let me tell you something. Please tell me you're going to edit some of this, this out. Is gonna, I'm, not editing, I'm not editing this part out. This is, um, real talk, I'm a huge 50 Cent fan. I'm going to tell you why. And he might be the realest since Pac. Whoa. 50? That's heavy. Since Jeezy and 50, the realest since Pac. That's, that's. And if anybody can debate me. Ooh. All they want. Ah. I'm not even. Are you I, ready to make that claim? I just. I, I'm not even gonna talk about. We're talking and about. You know, I don't know much I'll about bring, nothing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring Cuzzo. I'm gonna bring Sarah Clausen. I'm gonna bring Cuzzo on who the really since pop debate is 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 Fifty and, and Jeezy. We'll, we'll talk about Fifty. We'll talk about Jeezy on another day. But Fifty, no matter how much money. He is, speaks his is. mind and he is ruthless. He goes at Diddy. Anybody that mess up in the public, he's he went at fabulous. He's going after you and he don't care. So um we're gonna wrap this up. Oh, oh, well, I this is right. yo, yeah, we'll talk about this another day. Fifty I rock with fifty though. I could see that. Fifty is um, and I'm not just talking about Alpha Power because Kanan is wild. I don't watch Power. Kanan, you keep wild. bringing up all these shows. Kanan killed his son, so um, uh, we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up. You got anything else to say before we get out of here? Did I say enough? You said enough. Stay motivated. Yes, yeah, stay incorporated. motivated. Incorporated. We coming. We about to change the world. And um, look out for the logo. The logo is coming. The website is coming. Social media pages. The are change coming. is coming. The change is coming. We're going to get in contact with that Barack part. Obama. That's gonna I be... really want to get in contact with Michelle before Barack. I think Barack gonna be hard to get in contact with. Michelle gonna change the world. Matter of fact, I'm about to order a T-shirt off Amazon with Michelle Obama face on it. Okay. Yeah. I Behind every strong black women, black man. Is a bunch of crown apple. <laughs> All right, <laughs> <Stupid. laughs> All right, y'all, we gone.
Peace out.